What is good spectacular people? This is SFC Spectacular. You're into IC for all things entertaining on this channel and welcome back to Game of Soul Spectacular. Uh, I apologize. I haven't made videos in quite some time. Maybe about two or three weeks of a VOD form video. I've released some shorts, so go watch that. Apologize, but I am back and I'm here to talk about Overwatch 2 uh, and how it has lost almost in its entire Twitch audience. Let's get over to this article I found on it by MSNBC. Sorry about that. So, Overwatch 2 has lost almost its entire Twitch audience. I'm going to read something from this article, then I'm going to give you my opinion on why this game is going the way it is. So, following a successful launch on Twitch, the, Over the Overwatch 2 beta lost almost all of its viewership just a week after its release. As reposted by Forbes, the revamp of Blizzard's popular multiplayer game saw a record-breaking launch with 1.5 million viewers on Twitch. However, the Overwatch 2 beta has since experienced a huge drop-off, losing almost 99% of its viewership after just six days of availability. Hey yo, what the fuck? Going from a 1.5 million concurrent viewers to 15,000. What a freaking drop, bro. Um, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on Overwatch 2 as I see it. Overwatch 2, Overwatch, the original game, was always a game that insisted on being uh, a team player, right? Uh, it, it, its strengths lied in bringing people of low skill together so they could operate as a team. What do I mean by that? Well, you might have that one chick who's always the healer. That's all she does. She yells and barks and this. She talks like she's the best player on the team. Really don't do much but heal. And uh, in Overwatch, much like a lot of these ga these modern games, they get, did away with the leaderboard and started doing team points and things like that. Most people don't like that. I would I would venture to say that most gamers who play want their achievements acknowledged. So if I'm doing the most damage on the team, I want to be on the leaderboard and I want it to show. I don't want the rest of these teammates who are doing virtually nothing to get the, the, the uh, credit. And I think that's the, the premise behind the weakest part of Overwatch. Now bringing it to Overwatch 2, the problem with Overwatch 2 is it's just a carbon copy of Overwatch 1. Oh sure, they got a couple of tweaks here and there, but like a lot of sequels these days, all they did was repurpose the original game. You could really call it a 1.5. I could be wrong with that. Any Overwatch players in the audience, let me know if I'm wrong. But uh, I assume that this game is cutesy, fartsy, artsy. It's, it's not a hardcore game. The environment that the original Overwatch was released in is a different, it was a different time than where we are now. I think most people are trying to just enjoy gaming, whether it be single player or multiplayer. Multiplayer has been the focus, I say it was a focus heavily during the, the pandemic and the previous years. I'm not saying uh, online gaming or multiplayer or PVP isn't big now, it is definitely big. What I'm saying to you is Overwatch doesn't fit the same bill anymore, okay? We don't wanna see our credit given away to another teammate, right? And that's Overwatch's problem. Now let me know, do you play Overwatch? What do you think, am I wrong? Uh, do you expect Overwatch to do better? I don't think the sales will go up. I pretty much. I, I think Overwatch will be two will be dead in the world when it comes out. I could be wrong though. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching the video and check out some of these other videos that YouTube recommends. Until next time, remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.